Welcome everybody on YouTube. I wanted to give an intuitive introduction to sets, but using some of the notation that we'll find valuable. So our definition in the book is, is sort of humorous in a way. Um, it says that a set, we often underline the word we're defining, is a well-defined collection of objects. So to me, you know, we're sort of defining things at such a, um, a starting level that you're just using one year word in place of another. So it's almost like we're just defining a set as a collection. So we will get to definitions that are much more precise. You know, when we define a group, it'll be a set equipped with other properties. But, but let me really explain to you what a set is by some examples, okay? So let me give you some examples. So I could have a set X whose elements are just a couple of numbers. So maybe negative three and four and six, okay? And then I could have another set, maybe Y, whose elements are some numbers but also just, you know, some objects like, you know, an apple or a um, tennis ball. You could put whatever you want in a set. Um, you could have another set, maybe I'll call it capital P. And this is the set of all people in the world. I have a question. Yeah. Um, I guess actually, I was gonna ask if set Y, if it um, qualifies as well defined, but I guess if X does and Y does. Yeah, we're not gonna get into that level of, of detail, you know. Um, 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 there are subtleties that arise, but I, I won't I won't get into those right now. Okay, so let me also talk about elements in a set. Okay, so we write um, four in X to mean four is an element of set X. Okay, so here it is. <laughs> There's four. Four is an element of the set X. Um, and this symbol out loud, you would just say is an element of, okay. So in English, this means is an element of. Okay. So, you know, let's do some more examples. So Apple, you know, this Apple is an element of our set Y. Okay. However, um, you know, this apple is not an element of set X. So when, I, when I've crossed out that is an element of symbol, that means is not an element of. So this means is not an element of. <clears throat> okay. Great. Let me give you a couple sets that will appear frequently in this course, and then we'll we'll stop this public portion. All right. So let's go um, as follows. This is, this is a particular font. It's called Blackboard Bold. So when you try to write in bold on the blackboard, well, it's hard to do. So Blackboard Bold is where you, you sort of um, duplicate some of these vertical lines. So th this is the name of a very particular set, okay? So this is the set of all natural numbers.
And what, what do I mean by that? This is just the counting numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, et cetera, all the way as high as you can, as you can go. So whereas set X had three elements in it and set Y had four elements in it and set P had a certain number of, you know, billions of people in it, set the set of natural numbers has an infinite number of elements in it. Z, blackboard bold Z, is um, all integers. So this contains, you know, negative 10, negative 9, negative 8, dot, 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 all the way down to negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up, okay? So Z is all the integers, both positive and negative, including 0. Q is the set of all rational numbers. Another way to write this is the set of all things of the form A over B, where A is an integer um, and B is an integer, and also B is not equal to zero, okay? I'm going to come back to this in our second video and explain this notation a little bit more. You know, I haven't, I haven't explained this colon for you, and I'd like to explain that a little bit more in a moment. But, but some examples, you know, examples of rational numbers are three fifths is an element of the rational numbers, or five eighths is a rational number. So is negative five eighths. And then the last one I'll do is blackboard bold R. This is the set of all real numbers. So if I had to draw the set of all real numbers, I would draw it as this horizontal number line. Okay. This number line contains natural numbers like one and two and three. It also contains the integers. So it contains zero and negative one and negative two. And it also contains the um, rationals, like three fifths, okay? But the, the real number line also contains things that are not rational numbers. So pi, for example, um, which is you know 3.14 dot, 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 is a real number that's not rational. You can't write it as a fraction. And E, um, you know, which is approximately equal to 2.71, I think eight, et cetera, dot, 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 is a real number that's not a rational number. So I'll define the following symbol in a moment, but we have this containment symbol to say that the natural numbers are contained inside the integers, which are contained inside the rational numbers, which are contained inside the reals. And I'd like to stop there. I haven't defined for you really this symbol or these symbols, but I'd like to do that in the, in the next video and, and first pause here to see what questions folks have so far. So, Public questions. Thanks.